Right now, it's pretty calm. But this afternoon, when this picks up, when that core comes into Southern California, the lower deserts are going to get hit pretty hard. As long as it stays on this current course, we could see major flooding over uh, the lower deserts from Palm Springs and beyond. We could see the freeways washed out there and even some bridges like we've seen in the past washed out. This is also the region that is more susceptible to tornadoes during this event. There is a greater risk here than anywhere else. Everywhere we could see some small tornadoes similar to what we saw back in March when we saw that one go through Montebello, for instance. A short span of life for that tornado, but enough to cause damage and rip off roofs off of warehouses and whatnot. So let's move north on our radar. This area as well is going to be later today a big problem spot, especially these mountain areas. Uh, we can see up to 10 inches of rain falling today in some of our mountain communities, up to a foot of rain in some of the eastern slopes because the system's coming around and therefore it could cause more rainfall on the eastern sides as there's that uplift on that side of the mountains. Normally, when we get our winter storms, we're used to it coming the opposite direction. This time it's on the other side and therefore our eastern side of our mountains could see a whole lot. There's not much happening in some areas right now, but look at all the moisture still available. This is tropical moisture. This isn't that type of storm that you're used to. This is a tropical storm. This means that it's going to be harder rain. It's going to be faster rain. It's going to be coming down pretty quickly and therefore flash flooding is the big concern as right now. It is a not a hurricane anymore. It's a tropical storm with sustained winds of 65 miles per hour moving up the coast of Baja. Now this turn here is pretty interesting and we're going to keep a close eye on this. We're going to look into what the National Hurricane Center is saying about this turn here. We're hoping to get an update from them soon. But in the meantime, as it's south of us, Flash flood warning. This was that big breaking news we talked about all of LA County portions of Ventura County under this flash flood warning through tonight. OK, so steady rainfall expected to really ramp up in LA County and everywhere else. That's why everybody's under this flood watch through early morning, early morning hours tomorrow. Mountains could see five to 10 inches. Like I mentioned, the lower deserts and the upper deserts could see up to seven inches, i.e. in valleys two to four, the coastal spots one and a half to three inches, all pretty much squeezed into one day. Hello, I'm Mark Brown. Get more great ABC7 content by clicking the subscribe button for our YouTube channel and download the ABC7 Los Angeles streaming app on Fire TV, Android TV, Apple TV, and Roku to watch on your TV.